My name is John Gelkison, and I'm the president of the National Public Observatory. Today I just wanted to go over the construction of a 13-inch Dobsonian telescope out of a 30-gallon barrel. Um, today I'm just going to discuss the construction of the OTA by itself, and in a later video I'll cover the mount. As you can see, the upper and bottom parts are parts of a 30-gallon barrel. And the problems with using a 30-gallon barrel is that when you cut it, it will not stay round. So as you can see here, I have tube stiffening rings in it made out of aluminum. There's one on the top and there's one on the bottom. These are half-inch bar stock aluminum. And in the bottom, section I have a one inch bar stock aluminum and these are pop riveted to the OTA. Now one other detail you can see here is because the barrel is 19 inches in diameter and the optics are 13 inches in diameter I had to lower the focuser inside the barrel to compensate for the uh, extra distance. <coughs> And so I just used a board for that and cut a hole in the side of the barrel. Um, one of the details I really like about this telescope is that it's just made using four pipes and they're three quarter inch um, EMT on the bottom half and on the top half is half inch. And the half inch slides inside the three-quarter inch and is held in place with a pipe clamp. And I got these pipe clamps at Harbor Freight and all I need is my fingers to tighten them or loosen them. Um, this allows me to adjust the, the focal length in case, let's say, I had an eyepiece that just wouldn't reach focus and it just needed a little bit of extra tube length. I could accomplish that. I'd have to recolumnate a course. Um, another thing which I ended up doing, is you see these crossbars on here, there's two on the bottom and two on the top, is even with the uh, aluminum bar stock for helping the, um, the barrel stay round, they were just still slightly out of round and that helped bring them back in to round. Um, just by using pipe clamps and then setting these uh, <clears throat> these crossbars on there. You can also you see that I used uh, uh, just the wall clamps for the EMT that are commercially available to attach even the uh, a pipe to a pipe and so forth. You can see it there and there. And so Really all I did was end up buying uh, quite a few fasteners. I had, um, uh, I was rebuilding an old telescope is how this came about. So the, I already had the main mirror and I had the uh, uh, main mirror cell and the secondary and so forth and the f finder and focuser. So I didn't have to buy all that. Now you may notice some short arcs of uh, of aluminum in there and that's just for where I went through the tube to fasten it right there. So that's essentially about it. Uh, the tube's 19 inches in diameter, the optics are are 13 inches, f4.5 and it's and the focal length's about uh, 59 inches. And the whole OTA turned out because of the declination axis uh, which really pushed the weight up because they're quite substantial. Uh, it's about 60 pounds for this optical tube assembly. And you can see how it works. Um, and I think it's going to make a good telescope. It still has yet to be painted and it's going to need a light baffle in it and so forth. But uh, so there you are. A a 13-inch Dobsonian made out of a 30-gallon barrel. Thank you.